All right, welcome back to our outdoor kitchen. We are so happy to welcome our friend <laughs> Bryce Krausman back to the station, the Yay. owner of DW Bistro. We've missed you so much. You know, I, I actually, when you started to do the intro, I almost started crying. Honestly, when <laughs> I saw- Because it's been a long time. <laughs> when I saw your name in our queue, I almost started crying. We love you here at Fox 5 love and the too. War Show. Thank you. And um, Thank the you Valley so loves your food. <laughs> so Thank you. It, everybody's winning today. Thank you. Um, what are you cooking up today? So, you know, when we looked at all of the clips we've done with you, we've never really done lunch. Oh. You know, We've always pushed brunch, yeah. dinner, um, and actually we are reopening for Tuesday lunch because we are open Wednesday through yes. Sunday right now. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday lunch. And we've, we've uh, had a nice Monday, Tuesday off during uh, pandemic. Right. And so it's been really nice for us, but we're bringing Tuesday back, Tuesday lunch back. Okay, uh, we're going to talk a little more about the yeah. reasoning for that. But first, let's talk some of these new menu items. So this is an old favorite we had on the menu prior to quarantine. We brought it back. It's our Cobb salad. Mm. I'm a huge Cobb salad person. And, uh, you know, one of the things you have to know about us at DW is the flavor palette. So obviously, we've got the spice from our original family. Founding chef Dalton Wilson from Jamaica. So we have jerk grilled chicken. Yeah. And we added mango. Ooh. Uh, we used to go, you know that Sealy Bali High Golf Course Sealy restaurant? Yeah. They have a lobster cob salad there that had mango on it. So we wow. had that years ago. I said, let's put that on yeah. our on our menu. Uh, then we have fresh avocado. We blistered some farmer's market tomatoes. This is a trick you can do when it's not tomato season as well. Right now, really? we're ample with tomatoes. Yeah. Um, you can you put a little olive oil, salt and pepper, put it in your oven, 425, uh -huh. and just get them blistered. And that'll get them nice and uh, juicy when mm. you put them on. Sometimes it's hard to bite into a tomato in a salad because it's just so hard. Hard. Yeah. So this way it loosens them up a little bit. We have a six minute egg over here. Basically, you, I like That's hard boiled eggs, it. but I like that little bit of runniness yes, in there. Me too. Uh, these are also from Farmer's Market. Everything we brought in here today, oh. we do it from the downtown third, the one that Carrie Clasby's done for a number of years. So we have a lot of Farmer's Market finds. We try to use them in the restaurant when we can. Okay. So. One thing to note, and you have that plate over there for you. Yeah, I'm going to try some of this Cobb salad. Take because... your lettuce and put it in an ice bath okay. so that it stays crispy. You can hear that crispiness still in there. And then I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of our buttermilk ranch, which I don't have for you because you don't do the buttermilk. I appreciate you. You bet. And then you're just going to place the greens in the bottom of the bowl. Mm -hmm. Just kind of give them a little stir. I like to dress the lettuce first before you put all the other accoutrement on it. Oh, okay, another that's little, what I'm doing wrong with my Another side tip salads. for you. Okay. And then we're just gonna place our lettuce up on here and then we'll put all of our love mm. on top. Again, blistered tomatoes. There's a little bit of garlic in my tomatoes, that's okay. Like I said, the fresh mango makes a world of difference when you're doing this. Yeah. And then our six minute egg. Yum. Our jalapeno bacon, I almost forgot to tell you about that. Well, that I just had legendary. a bite of it, which is why I went completely <laughs> silent because I said a little prayer. You said a little prayer for the bacon gods? <laughs> <laughs> that we use in our Bloody Mary, it really is It really is special bacon for sure. It really is. You know what? Everything you guys do is so drool worthy. Thank I see you. so many other menu items that you have on display that we haven't even talked about. <laughs> so I'm going to leave that for Jason. Okay, perfect. Um, oh my gosh, Bryce, I'm so excited to have you back. You guys are I'm also so going to be talking you. about your July 4th, uh, something special you're cooking up for the 4th. Yes. So we have much more with Bryce more drool worthy content coming up <laughs> jason we'll send it back over to you all right we're back in our outdoor kitchen with dw bistro bryce krausman is here uh you talked to Alyssa. you yes. i think she was like Stop talking for a few moments. She did. Yeah, she had a moment with the Cobb salad. It's yes, okay. It's okay. which we all like to have <laughs> religious experiences with your food. But uh, True. Now, now, Bryce, we're going to talk about. So the last big holiday I was at, I was at yes, Mother's uh, Day for Mother's Day with Thank my mom. Thank you so much. That was great. That was so much. It was a fun. great day. Yes. You know, most restaurants can't say that. Mother's yes. Day was super special this year because we weren't open the year before. Right. And literally, I think this Mother's Day was one of the best Mother's Days I've ever had at the restaurant. It was so, your mom was there, she was so sweet, but yeah. the overall feeling in the restaurant was, that, yeah, I got goosebumps now. I know, I get goosebumps yeah. too. Yeah. That's crazy. It was really special. Okay, so let's talk about 4th of July. That's, yes. that's the next one. You know, we, we've we always been closed on July 4th and we oh. had to look up a calendar all the way back to when we first started. Okay. We've never been open on a July 4th because it huh. never fell on a Sunday except for the very first year we were open. Okay. But we didn't, we weren't really like the hot spot, brunch spot yet right away. It right. took a little while. So we were closed. So this is the first July 4th we're going to ever be open. That's because, right. So because you guys brunch. are like Sunday, 
your big day. Exactly. Okay. So, all right. So, what are you going to be doing um, for your first? So, we're one? just going to do we're going to do our regular brunch, but we are offering for those that are actually going to be home or celebrating outside of uh, brunch. Uh -huh. We're doing our fried chicken package. Okay. So, like yes. that. Yes. So you can get the cornbread, the fried chicken. You get our DW mac and cheese. You get our key lime tarts, and you get uh, some some homemade coleslaw. Okay, and yeah. and you can and uh, some beers. You want some red stripe beers as well. Too. Red stripe. That's the Jamaican beer. <laughs> yes, I remember that is the commercial. Exactly right. Red exactly. stripe. Mm -hmm. So I left for you over there. Yeah. What, what what one of the main ingredients of jerk is is that little tiny bowl next to you is allspice berries. That is one of the main oh. components that adds the level of sweetness and complexity to jerk seasoning, not just the scotch bonnet pepper. So you can smell those berries. Those berries yeah. are amazing. And those are whole berries. Those are broken down in to create the jerk seasoning that we use in the restaurant. I don't know if you can see them, but um, I'm glad you told me what they were because yeah. I, I would have put milk in these suckers <laughs> and think that they it's were not cocoa cereal. puffs. It's not but cereal, it looks like Jason. cocoa puffs, though. Uh -huh. Sure does. You, I mean, that'd be you something. You will be sad when you, when you take a spoonful. No, it would sure. not be the same. <laughs> However, you, you're the type of place that would somehow manage to put cocoa puffs we, in something. Exactly. <laughs> I, yeah, we could do that. Cocoa puffs, French toast. Right. So, okay, we, so I, yeah. we take a different take on our fried chicken. So obviously our flour mixture is a little bit of our dry jerk seasoning, a little bit of cornmeal, and a little bit of um, uh, corn starch. That okay. gives it that nice little crispiness to it. And you got to do the double dredge when you're making it. So double you, dredge. Double dredge. That so this fancy. is This is brined chicken in here sitting in buttermilk. Okay. And then you're going to double dredge, which means you're taking it in the flour once. Mm and you're going back into the mixture again to get it wet again, and then you're going back to double dredge. That's how you get that nice crispiness. And if you want to take it a step further, <clears throat> excuse me, you can take it and put it in your fridge overnight with the flour dredge. That'll also keep everything adhering to it, as well as give you that nice crispy coating. We're just gonna lay that right Gosh. into our, our hot oil. I don't know what sounds better, like know, actually right? trying it myself or having you do the cooking. Oh, <laughs> this is why we're, this is, we take the guesswork out of it all the time. Yeah. The fried chicken we make is boneless and skinless, but we also have been known to do the bone in uh, for people who would request that. But because we do the boneless ones, we put it in our chicken sandwich, our fried chicken sandwich. It okay. goes over our chicken and waffles. It goes over a salad if you want to put a fried chicken on the salad. Right. Um, the best to me is just between two buns with mayo and butter toasted. Simple. That's the best way to eat it to me. Oh, yeah. So good. What are your hours? So on Sunday, we're going to be open 10 to 3, like regular brunch. And you can go on the website right now to buy your fried chicken meal and pick it up on Sunday, ready to go. Perfect. All right, Bryce. Well, I'll have to be checking back with you soon. Thank you. Congratulations on 11 years. Appreciate it. And your first 4th of July. Yes. <laughs> I love it. All right. DW Bistro, real quick, the address. Ah, 9275 West Russell Road, inside the Gramercy. Yes, all right. Thanks, man. Appreciate it.